Good night, Ignite. That is a very tough act to follow, but I'll try. All right. So, uh, oh dear. <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll make your brain work. All right. So tonight, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about hacking your brain. My name is Riyadh Sitaran, and what I really like to do is to figure out how things work. I really enjoy that. Uh, it's kind of weird, but we'll get over that. So I want to give you a little bit of history. So Aristotle thought the brain was a radiator, for whatever reason. Paul McLean thought we actually had three brains, and scientists today actually think that we actually have many voices competing for attention in our brains. So what is it, right? This is the most spectacular organ that you have. It is what makes us human. 100 billion neurons, less than four pounds, 20% of our oxygen. What's it do? It does one thing. It observes, orients, acts, and decides. It's called an OODA loop. That's what your brain does on a daily basis. Every waking second, it's taking inputs. So the five things. Thing number one, increase your hard drive. So what I'm going to talk a little bit about now is something called a dual MBAC test. OK, what is that? So it's a piece of software that you can use that can actually, if you use it frequently, will provide you with the ability to improve your memory to improve your working memory. So working memory compose, basically you can remember a phone number on average, five to seven digits. If you use this piece of software frequently, say 20 minutes a day, what happens is your brain gets bigger and actually develops more connections and you can actually increase your memory. Maybe even your IQ, depending on how often you use this tool. And there's research that backs this. <coughs> Fake it till you make it. You ever have to give a talk in front of people? And the slides move, and you have no control over it? It's really nerve-wracking, let me tell you. So what you want to do in a situation like that is anchor. You want to draw on some previous emotional experience and w really recall that, so that that permeates what you're about to do. So think back when you won that spelling bee, you kicked that winning goal, and use that just before you start anything stressful. So 30 to, 30 to 60 seconds before you start doing something, anchor. It works. I'm here. <laughs> All right? So the next thing, and I love Arnold, by the way, it, is go ahead and get sweaty. There's only one known way to create brain cells. I'm going to throw the term out there. It's called neurogenesis. Right? Only one way to do that. The brain does it through different inputs, but the one most common way to do it is, guess what? Exercise. That's the only way, that, well, it's not the only way, it's the easiest way for us as humans who are managing our brains to actually create new neurons. You want a healthy brain? You need to exercise. It could be as little as 30 minutes a week, but once you do it, your brain is going to actually create new cells. Cells die all the time. One million dies every second. Okay? Thing number four, the big ohm. Meditation. Meditation has the ability to affect our, cell, our lives on a very deep level. But there's a very practical element to it, not just the spiritual part of it. It actually changes the way that your brain works. If you do it long enough, it can reduce your ability to feel pain. It can increase your satisfaction with your life. And it can actually increase happiness, your sense of worth. I mean, you could try drugs, but I don't know if that'll work. <clears throat> so meditation is something you want to do th three times a week. And ultimately, what it's going to do for you is improve the quality of your life. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to you know, get your face chewed up. <clears throat> is it too early? <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> OK, change it up. All right. So the thing you want to do is, is called cognitive, is called neuroplasticity. You want to change your habits and your behaviors. Brush your teeth with a different hand. Try driving with both feet. Take a different route home. Read as much as you can, because what that's going to do for you is actually change the way that you store information. It allows your brain to build more connections. New things equal bigger brain. See that brain on the left over there? That could be you, OK? 
You want to develop as many new habits as you can. Tie your laces with your eyes closed. So let me just recap, if I remember correctly. Number one was increase your hard drive, right? Number two, fake it till you make it. That's what I'm doing now. Number three, go ahead, get sweaty. And I think I'm done. 